Hi everybody, welcome to the Old Reading Butcher Shop. My friend Tom and I are going to talk turkey today. Uh, everything that you need to know about purchasing a turkey, putting it out on the table, all the, uh, all the condiments that you're going to need, uh, everything available right here at the Old Reading Butcher Shop. Uh, first thing to remember is there's a, several questions that are pretty important before you buy the turkey. It's not as simple as it might seem. Uh, first thing you want to determine is how many people you're going to be having. And if that wasn't enough, you really need to find out what your breakdown of those people are. Uh, more men, more women, how many children. All of this is going to give you an accurate determination as to the size of the turkey and possibly the type of tur turkey that you're looking to purchase. Uh, first, let's start with the whole bird. Um, they're available domestic, they're available wild. The two differences is, one is, uh, one's a bird that can fly and one's not. You want to concentrate on a domestic bird. Uh, they're available in two pound increments. They start at a 10 to 12 pound range and they go all the way up to 28 to 30 pounds. Uh, our cutoff date on the purchase of these is November the 17th. Uh, after that time, we won't be able to positively be able to guarantee anybody who's going to be wanting to purchase something like that. A uh, few guidelines too that are important as we're talking about this is the poundage and what you want to benchmark for the weight that you will need. Uh, generally, um, if it's a bone-in turkey that you're looking at, then you want to look at something that's going to estimate out at about a pound per person. And that's for a company that you're going to invite over that will be a good balance of white meat and dark meat. However, if you do have um, a good amount of your customers or a good amount of your company that is going to be white meat eaters, you want to increase that benchmark up to about two pounds per person. Um, and that certainly is, is a very, very good way to go if you're thinking about uh, leftovers or possibly seconds later on, later on the next day. Uh, one of the other types of turkeys that are available to you is a boneless turkey breast. Uh, obviously, primarily white meat with the skin on. Uh, that's something that is uh, just very accommodating for a lot of people that don't want to get into issues of carving. Uh, it's a lot easier to cook. Um, and by the way, we have cooking instructions for whatever size or type of turkey that you're going to be considering. Uh, third type would be just a regular bone-in turkey breast. Uh, some people do like the drumsticks without the wings attached to it. So all of those are considerations and we've got everything from top to bottom and everything in between. Turkeys obviously are generally best cooked in an oven at 325 degrees. But there are a number of people that like to cook them on a grill. Uh, grills are becoming increasingly popular. Uh, quite a few people too are taking on the task of trying them in a deep fryer. If you're gonna try them in a deep fryer, there's one or two requirements that you're going to need. One is this, and the other is a fire extinguisher. You better be darn careful if you're using a fryer. Um, too many times we hear about issues that you really don't want to encounter, especially when you have loved ones over the house. So having said that, my suggestion is keep it safe, keep it to the oven. Um, a number of you may not want to even consider a turkey for Thanksgiving. Not a problem right here. Um, we've got everything from eggplant to our own homemade lasagna. We've also got a meatless lasagna as well. Um, a variety of different desserts. Stay away from the pie when you can have raisin bread pudding, strawberry rhubarb, apple crisp. This is stuff that's to die for. Um, we make our own butternut squash. Our own, if you've had our turkey gobbler, sandwich here, which is insanely popular, uh, you want to consider 
purchasing some of our very own stuffing, which we make here every single day. Um, one thing you want to steer away from is getting a turkey that's around the same size as this potato. Bad news. You don't want to try that. Too many potatoes, too little turkey. If you have any questions, you can always feel free to call the store. More than happy to help you. We have instruction sheets. Uh, ordering line is open. I can't say it's 24-7, but we're here generally 10 to 6 Monday through Friday, 9 to 4 on Saturday, and 11 to 4 on Sunday. Um, and please feel free. Um, just contact us straight away and we're happy to give you all the knowledge that we, that we have. Um, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Enjoy the holiday and hope to see everybody soon.